Hey, my name is Jason Creel and you're watching the Lawn Care Life. Today I'm going to show you how I sharpen a lawnmower blade. It's real easy, doesn't require a lot of tools, and I think is very effective. Stay tuned. I've got a couple blades here. These are obviously rusty, They've been sitting in the back of a truck of a relative, but uh, they're not in terrible shape and just need sharpened. So I'm going to sharpen one and then we're going to talk to you just a little bit about you know, how often should you sharpen your blades, that sort of thing. So let me show you how to sharpen this blade right here. Obviously want to put some safety glasses on. You can see here I'm using a, a grinding wheel. This is a cheap one from Harbor Freight Tools. You can get a nice one if you want. Uh, and I've got the, the blade locked in a bench vise here. Some people use a grinder on their bench and that's fine too if you want to do it that way. I find this way to be easier. One thing you want to think about when you're sharpening a lawnmower blade, a couple things to mention real quick. One, even as bad as this blade might look on the outside, it's really not in terrible shape. Most of the cutting is done on the very outer tip of the blade, okay? So this, the, this part down here is not that dull at all. I mean, it's actually not very dull uh, compared to how it comes from the factory setting. So the vast majority of the sharpening, especially if you're sharpening it more often, needs to be done on this last inch of the blade. Another thing to remember is we're not necessarily trying to go for razor sharp. If you buy a brand new set of blades, you'll notice they're actually not that sharp. The key, in my opinion, is I'm trying to take as little of the metal off of the blade as possible while giving it a nice edge. If you make it thin and sharp, it's just not going to stay sharp very long because, you know, just thin metal is just not going to hold up to what you're going to experience when you're cutting grass. So I try to leave as much metal on there as possible and I'm not worried about getting a razor sharp but just a, a, a good edge um, that will last a little bit longer. Let me show you how to do it. Again, I'm focused on this outer portion of the blade. I might just touch that up a little bit. Uh, a, a normal blade wouldn't have the rust on it, but I'm, I'm really just using the outer edge of the grinder and gonna and gonna try to put keep that same angle on the blade that was already there and just put it make it sharper without taking off much metal. Let me show you how easy. You see here, I've taken the rust off that outer part. I've spent most of my time focused on here, and it's hard to see on the video, but I, I took off very little metal, put a decent edge on it, and this blade's ready to go again. It's a little bit harder work when, you know, when they're extra dull, and after a while they get so dull, you might as well just throw them away, but uh, let's do the other side. I'll show you how to do it one more time. I've actually got a nice edge on this blade now. Again, it's hard to see from the video, but I can feel it, and that's about what I was going for, taking a little metal off. Um, for me, when I was mowing full-time all the time, I tried to sharpen my blade once a week. Uh, you think, well, some people, I've heard of people that go to the extreme of even carrying a battery-operated impact wrench with them out in the field and changing the blades in the middle of the day. So they're actually changing the blades twice a day. Now that's on the extreme, I've never, you know, that would be very rare. Once a week, you know, 
you could obviously do it more than that if you're cutting full time but by the end of the week they were definitely dull uh, but sometimes you know it, it's about trying to make money and not always working on the equipment so i found that doing it once a week you know blowing out the air filter these kind of general maintenance things that i would practice greasing the mower uh, if i did it at least once a week that kept me going if you feel like you need to do it more than that then great uh, but this is a simple way to do it if you're a homeowner and you're just mowing your own personal yard if you have a, a small yard i mean honestly you probably give away with sharpening them once a year or just you know if you didn't want to sharpen it, you can take it off and get a new set and put on there so um, whatever works for you you can check the blades and see how sharp they are like see if we get that last section of the blade that needs sharpening usually i try to sharpen mine maybe three or four times uh, and then i would uh, get a new set i would like to you know if i had one mower i might buy three or four sets of blades at the beginning of the year and that way when i take the one set off i can go ahead and put another set on while i'm there and then sharpen those the old set later to have them ready you know i didn't want one set that i had to take off sharpen and then put back on at least have two sets where you can keep them rotated so hope this is helpful showing you how to sharpen a lawnmower blade let me hear from you guys do you use a, uh, a grinder like i'm doing do you use a bench grinder handheld grinder what methods do you use a sharp blade do you pay somebody to do it i'll say this too i don't typically uh, do any kind of balancing or anything i mean rarely have i ever had a blade that i felt like was so far out of balance and tip guy would think you'd be able to feel that on your mower if it had such a uh, got warped or something then that point you just need to throw that blade away and get a new blade uh, if it has a, a little nick taken out of it from hitting a, a rock or, or something like that that's usually not a big deal um, but if it's warped then obviously that's going to cause a problem dull blades do not cut as well there's no doubt about that if you've got some extremely dull blades on even that lawnmower is turning those blades extremely fast a sharp set of blades can help you especially if you're dealing with something like bahia grass or something you got these stalks sticking up and they're hard to cut uh, maybe it's time for a new set of blades or to sharpen your lawnmower blades let me hear from you guys if you haven't done so go ahead and subscribe to the channel click the notification bell beside the subscribe button and i look forward to helping you guys grow in your lawn care success talk to you soon